Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome to Posey Lane. If you're brand new here at Posey Lane, we like to do fun, easy, doable crafts. If you're returning, I'm so glad you are back and that we can craft together again. Today, we are gonna be doing some patriotic crafts. All of them are gonna be edible. The past couple of weeks, if you see behind me, I've made a couple different crafts each week that were patriotic with red, white, and blue. And now I wanna do something that's edible. I love having edible decorations because it serves two purposes. You can always eat it and it looks really cute out on the table when you're having like a summer get together. Today we're going to be doing something with a graham cracker and we'll be making a red white and blue kebab. And then we're also going to be making a watermelon cake. Let's get into it. Our first edible craft that we're gonna do is a fruit kebab in red, white, and blue. And for the blue, obviously you have to do blueberries. It's even in the name. And then for the red, I thought some strawberries would be perfect. And I found some ones that looked really pretty at the store. But I was struggling to kind of think of what would be white. And I realized like, even though a banana is like yellow on the outside, it's white on the inside and that would be perfect. And I even have a hack to help it not brown so quick. With our fruit kebabs, we're gonna start with a banana. And I wanna just give you a couple tricks that I figured out along the way. I know this looks kind of brown right now. If you put a banana in the refrigerator, it stops it from ripening anymore. So once I got it to where I wanted it out on the counter ripened, I put it in the refrigerator and it looks brown like this, but it's actually perfect on the inside and isn't too soft. We're just gonna slice this banana with any kind of like fruit, like apples, bananas, they'll start to brown pretty quick. I wanted to give you a little hack that's really quick and easy so that your banana won't brown. And that's to put some orange juice on it. Something with like some acid in it will help stop the browning. I actually tested this the other day. I left it out for a couple hours. One that didn't have any orange juice on it and then one that did have orange juice and the difference was very noticeable. One was a lot browner and darker than the other one. So I'm just gonna use a basting brush and apply just a thin layer of this orange juice on both sides of the banana. With these strawberries, you'll notice that some of them are kind of big, so I'm just gonna slice them up and then we'll be ready to build our kebab. I have two sizes of skewers that came in the pack I bought at Walmart, and I'm gonna use a smaller one because I don't really need this bigger one. I'm afraid it might make the blueberries a little too squishy to use a kebab or skewer rather this big. I'm just gonna alternate the different kinds of fruit on the kebab just to where I think it looks pretty and looks patriotic. I used a smaller strawberry that I didn't slice at the top just to kind of top it off and now I'm gonna make a few more. If you notice, I did several different patterns. All of them have red, white, and blue. They all look super patriotic and will look really nice sitting out on your table just to act as a decoration, but also as an edible treat. We're gonna be making American flags out of full sheets of graham cracker. And I love doing any craft with a graham cracker because it's no bake and you can do it as an activity where everyone makes their own or you could decorate these ahead of time and lay them out and they would look so fun and patriotic on the table. To make these, you're gonna need the graham crackers. And then I found these little sprinkles that look like the stars on the flag. I always use cookie decorator icing because it is so easy to use. All you have to do, make like a border and then it will fill in. I'm not the best at decorating, but I can use these. And you just find these on the baking aisle near like, like sprinkles and things like that. To start, if you notice, this is like a perfect little rectangle already. So we will fill this top left-hand rectangle with the blue to look like the top left-hand part of the flag. One trick that I found is just to use a toothpick to kind of spread out the icing and you don't have to completely fill it in with all the icing. It will just start to fill in those gaps by itself. Now this graham cracker is not big enough to do all the stripes that would be actually on the flag, but we're just gonna do our best to make it represent and look like the flag. Now 
that I have the red stripes down, I'm gonna fill in with the white, then we'll add the little stars to the blue. When I went to the store to look for sprinkles, the only stars I could find was this like multicolor pack. I figured I could just pull the little white ones out. I do wanna note that the cookie icing has a dry time, so you will need to let it sit out for a little while, maybe like 10 minutes to let it dry all the way before you eat it or set them out to serve. I love how this came out. It's actually funny. This is my first craft that's a patriotic craft that looks like the American flag. We're gonna be making a cake out of a watermelon. So when I said a watermelon cake, you may think like a watermelon flavored cake. I mean an actual watermelon that we're gonna to cut to look like a fresh cake. Watermelon is that perfect summer treat and we don't eat it like the whole summer long. We usually try to get one once or twice and we'll put it in the refrigerator and get it really cold because it's so refreshing on a hot day to have a really good sweet watermelon. I'm not an expert on like which one to pick out. I know there's different tricks. But I usually look out and get a sweet one. It's just is so, so good. With the watermelon cake, we obviously needed watermelon and I just sliced it into four round slices, two for the top and two for the bottom tier. Just like with a normal cake where you have two different sizes of tiers, we're gonna do two different sizes of tiers for this one. Next, we're just gonna cut the rind off and get each of the layers so that both of the slices are the same size. to put the two layers on, as you can see. I noticed that I want there to be a little bit more of a gap between here and here, so I'm just gonna trim it down a little. I know this isn't cut perfectly, but what I like about it, when we put the different fruit and whipped cream on it, it's gonna kind of hide those imperfections. Now that we have the two different tiers, I'm just gonna use some skewers to put in it so that it won't move around. I know the skewers kind of show, but my plan is to put quip all over the top so you won't see them. Now that we have our cake built, we're gonna decorate it. And I wanted it to be red, white, and blue. And so I thought for our icing, we could use whipped topping. And I just thawed this in my refrigerator overnight. And then obviously this is red, but I wanted to add a little bit more red. So I have some fresh strawberries to use. And then for our blue, we're gonna use these blueberries. And my plan is to kind of make this like a naked cake, if you've ever seen one, where there's maybe a little bit of icing on the top and on this tier, but the sides, I want to peek through because I want that color to show. Whenever you use whipped cream, there's kind of two kinds of people. Like my son does not like whipped cream at all. But then there's like me where it's like, you cannot put enough whipped cream on something. I'm like, give me all. Not only will this whipped cream act like icing, it's kind of gonna act like the glue that will help keep all the fresh fruit on it. I wanna teach you a trick with the strawberries I learned a while ago. If you take a whole strawberry and you don't cut up the bottom and you just do thin slices, you can kind of make it look fanned out. When you push on it with your thumb like this, it just fans out and looks really pretty to set on top of whatever you're making. And for this, it's gonna be the center of our cake. The blueberries, I just stuck them here and there, leaving space to add the strawberries. And I just need to slice the strawberries down a little bit because they're really kind of too big to put whole on the cake. I just added blueberries and strawberries, but you could also do like blackberries or raspberries. I couldn't find them at my store, but if they were in season, I think they would look so cute on here too. And I'm really happy with how it looks. Looking from above, it looks really cute. But then also looking from this side, it looks really pretty. And this would be great to act as your centerpiece on your table when you're having a get together. And I think because it's not whipped cream and it's Cool Whip, it shouldn't melt too quick. 
everything came out even better than I expected and nothing took that long to really make. So all these would look so cute on your table. You can make one of them or you can make all of them. I made these kebabs like an hour ago and our hack to put orange juice totally worked. They're not brown yet and I have used lemon juice before and it makes it sour but using the orange juice should make it sweet and taste really good. With the graham cracker, I love that you could make these ahead of time and have a bunch of them sitting out or you could just have this as an activity and everyone can make their own. I think kids, young and old, would love doing this. I love getting in there with sprinkles and icing. It's one of my favorite things. With this cake, in the summer, it gets just so hot. And so baking an actual cake would heat up your whole house. So with this, it's no bake and it won't heat up your house. And it actually takes less time to make than if you were baking a real cake. And I think that it will look so pretty on the table. I can't wait to try it. Thank you guys so much for joining me this week. I had so much fun with you at Posey Lane and I can't wait for next week.